Hi, I'm Mary Lou, trend forecaster on Ask an Expert with Polytech. Million dollar question, what solid colours are trending? It seems to be one of the most popular questions asked actually. And there are many colours, as there are many people, obviously many preferences, but there is an underlying commonality. And whites, yes, whites are still significant, but we're talking about many more different whites. So they do have different undertones to it. It's not just the, the one classic white. We're looking at things like Aston white, which has a gray undertone to it, and Gossamer white as well, which actually has a warm, softer beige tone, but it's still considered a white. So they will continue to trend and evolve over time. The other colours that we're looking at that are quite significant are the colour infused neutrals because we like to call them that because they're just they're subdued colours and subdued colours give us longevity and these colour infused neutrals are botanical inspired of course so we're talking about a palette of greens they are still trending and they will for quite a long time but it's not just the one green yet yeah, there are yellow based greens like the topiary and there are the blue base like the oasis and there's the lighter palette of the vidello but what we're starting to see also is the darker botanic which is a near black with the hint of a green through it so these color infused neutrals will give us longevity they're considered neutrals but they do have more color than what we're used to now the other it's a little you know comment that gets thrown around and the question asked is are greys going out Greys are still in, and they're always in, but they're in in varying degrees. So whether it's a um, mid-grey or a dark grey or a cooler or a warmer, there is always a component of grey in there. But we are actually starting to see a little bit more of the warmer beige tones coming through, in particular, as I mentioned, the gossamer white. That one's a little hero that will actually start sort of climbing its way through. But as far as warm tones go, don't forget the colour of timber because the oaks and the walnuts that are being used in the space give us the warm tone. So therefore we find a lot of times people do try to balance that with a cooler tone so you don't have everything in a warm base. So you've got the colour of the timber, the colour of the solids and sometimes the colour of the stone as well. So balancing all of those together, you, you still have a variety of colours to choose from. It's not one colour, one colour hero. There are many that balance and will withstand the test of time. So as far as solid colours go, it's still that influence of natural, botanical inspired colours that are trending, as well as colours that will give you longevity, colours that you'll be happy with today, tomorrow and for 10 years down the track and if not more.